Hi everyone, so we just got ourselves a new devlog for the upcoming update that is coming on March for Coral Island and I'm super excited. I actually took a glimpse through it already and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Okay, so this month will give you a sneak peek at the upcoming spring update which will feature bathing suits, the tree planting festival, wind gate, mining, and more. Okay. So there's a lot to unpack here. We're planning to release the spring update sometime in March 2023. Oh my god, can't wait. Hopefully it's early in March and then we will be um we will get on it. Okay, we will get on it once it is uploaded. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like to know more Coral Island news. And first is the bathing suits. Oh my god, when I see this, my jaw literally dropped like all the thirsty people will love this so much. Coral Island will feature multiple outfits for a large number of NPCs. We're excited to drop the first batch of outfits for the upcoming spring update, bathing suits. Here's a sneak peek of what it will look like. So we have Mark here, Tio, Macy, and also Suki. Yeah, they all look so good. And I love how each of their like uh, bikinis and swimsuits depict themselves and has their characters you know on it and i love like if you see over here suki has a stretch mark like you can see like she has a stretch mark which is like such a realistic addition to the game right but we we've, we've known this before we known that we have known that suki actually has a stretch mark and look at the hair on mark's body like it really scopes up like all the body types that actually exists in this world and I love that for a fact. Theo looks really hot with his six pack but of course he is a fisherman and look below there it says bathing suits coming in hot. Definitely it is definitely coming in hot. For some outfits like seasonal clothing NPC starts the day wearing them. For outfits like bathing suit they will change it to bathing suits at some point during the day you can set it in action here which is it makes so much sense, right? It's just like impossible for them to actually wear like a swimsuit the whole day that they're doing their activity. So I think this makes a lot of sense. Like they will just walk somewhere like around in the beach area and then they will change into their particular swimsuit, which is, oh my God, look at that. And the way they change their outfit, it says over here, this may look familiar if you've ever been obsessed with a certain simulation game. Can you guess which game they're talking about? Of course, it's gonna be The Sims. Like, that is how the characters in The Sims actually change their outfit, right? They, like, make a quick turn with the spiraling video effect, you know? Like, this is totally inspired by the sims but um i think it still needs a lot of work like the shape of the spiral should be higher and bigger maybe i think what do you guys think please comment down below to best showcase the new bathing suits we've added a bunch of new npc schedules whether it's downtime at the beach or a nice bath at the hot spring once you've opened it there are a lot of new routines for you to discover so they actually added a new npc schedule inside the game which is very nice so that we can actually check on the people that we uh, want to give or we want to talk to you know and it makes sense that they will wear their bathing suit in the hot spring as well right because it's like a bathing area like look at this we have all the people here playing volleyball now wearing their own swimsuit and bathing suit like previously they are not wearing uh they're just wearing their casual outfit right but now they're wearing their uh bathing and swimsuit like oh my god i can't wait to see surya because surya is my boy surya is my boy he has my heart can't wait to see him in his swimsuit and then next this is also another screenshot of the upcoming update with the swimsuit we have everyone here chilling with their own uh, respective swimsuits i really wish that our character just like an animal crossing in animal crossing we can hold a wand and use that wand to change our outfit to a prerequisite that we have saved before right so i hope we can get something like that instead of like um setting up our outfit one by one through our inventory i hope we are getting something like that so that when everyone change into their bathing suits we can actually also change our outfit into our bathing suits doesn't that sound like a, such a good idea? 
Stairway Games, listen to me, okay? Listen to me. And then we have, of course, the Tree Planting Festival. Another work in progress festival will be accessible for the upcoming spring update, the Tree Planting Festival. The festival takes place every spring 21 and can be triggered in the forest right behind your farm. Don't miss it. Okay, so I'm not so sure. Like, um, if I'm not mistaken, everyone gathers like actually yes in the forest behind us but um is this like are we going to teleport into this area or is this area also accessible through our map navigation i'm not so sure because there are still areas that are close on the left side of our island right in coral island so i think it will be nice if we can actually travel to this area not just teleport every time it's for the festival but that might be the case that might be the case because this everything looks so different and if you see like all the trees being chopped up and it's i think it's our job to actually plant more trees but the details here kind of look super barren so i hope that since this is a work in progress i hope that they're gonna add into it but i am also excited for this because we have been getting like half-baked festivals Right. And then we have another picture over here. Everyone is pumped. So like, I think we travel using this boat into the area. Maybe so we are not going to um, be able to access it if it's not the day of the festival, I guess. But this also looks like the world really looks nice in Coral Island. But sometimes since it's not fully done yet like this, it looks like an unfinished game but yeah they are work in progress so i guess it's fine and then last but not the least an update on the mining yeah in this game we have the wind gate mining the wind gate will become available in the upcoming update you'll find more gems and most importantly come across gold ores in this mining gate have a look okay so now we can actually have a new mine with gold ores which is good we can actually uh not rely on meteorites to actually get our gold ores or maybe buy them yeah from pablo we can just uh, get some and actually upgrade all our tools to gold easily and cheaply without <laughs> without having to pay pablo so much money and i really like the aesthetic of this wingate mine like it's like a mix of both spring and fall all together like the greenery the moss um the leaves the falling leaves i really like these and if you see over here, we actually getting ourselves some new monsters. With new monsters, I wish we can get more uh, a, a more decent weapon because I really hate having to fight them without a good weapon, you know? Like, I feel like it's taking too long. But since the monster variety is getting more diverse, I think mining will be less boring, right? And yeah, this is like the... <laughs> The asset, the animation for the new monsters. We have a new slime. There's a name for them. New mine monsters. You will encounter some new monsters if you visit the mines. Please note that they are still work in progress. I think this new slime is really cute. I love the aesthetic. Like it really, it re it's it's an actual like slime monsters that you see in isekai anime you know like the vibe is there but it's still unique in its own way to coral island i really love those and we have meet tukutuku so this is like a stone monster at first i thought this is like its um mouth or something but i think it's its mustache supposedly right so it's like a tusk or something this reminds me of geodude mixed with oddish in pokemon right and then next we have Scully. Yeah, we have Scully over here. I really like Scully as well. It it's it's giving like ghastly. Like Scully actually looks kind of scary. So it's like maybe like the bats in Stardew Valley because it's flying right. Like the ghosts and the bats in Stardew Valley. It's giving that vibe. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of scared of Scully over here. He is actually looking kind of creepy, but I love the design. Like the helicopter for its tail like it's so original like i love it and then last but not the least we have beards at long last beards a new customization option beards are now available personally for me i do enjoy my avatars having beards but if you look at the like the beards in here i know they are still work in progress but they don't look so good right 
is it just me or they look kind of weird especially this one right here like it looks so jagged like the the 3D modeling for this is not very good in my opinion. I think they need to smoothen it more. I know, um, like I'm no expert, but I just, I can tell that this is not good. And you know, the 3D modeling is also not good for the accessories, like the accessories in um, the shopping mall. You know, like the glasses, the glasses is usually super duper high up here like this. <laughs> instead of in front of their eyes and the caps as well like the accessories are not so good inside this game so i think that is also one thing that stairway game have to improve on you know but that is just me what do you think of the beards in the upcoming new update do you think that it is good or not but yeah i think it's it needs improvement definitely okay guys so that is it for today's video i'm so sorry for my phone notification going off here and there i forgot to silent it which is i know uh, the 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 number one rule when taking a youtube video or something but yeah i hope you actually enjoy them don't forget to give me a subscribe give the video a thumbs up and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future content from me that is it see you and goodbye and i'm so sorry if I haven't been making a lot of Coral Island content. Actually, like, I am actually saving myself for the full release, to be honest. That is why I haven't been playing uh, playing it a lot. Like, I've been trying just other, other cozy farming or gardening sim, you know. And yeah, you can check those out in my channel if you actually like those kind of games. So, yeah, bye-bye.